Hey guys, so in today's video I will be reviewing the Lafay and Swift hair dryer. Now that it's getting colder outside and we're nearing winter, I'm just noticing that my hair is taking longer to dry. And for those who might be new, I have pretty long hair. And in addition to having long hair, I have a lot of hair. So my hair is very thick in density, although in texture it's very fine. And so it can just be so annoying because I like to wash my hair at night and I refuse to go to bed with wet hair because it's uncomfortable and going to bed with wet hair is very damaging and thus I like to use a hair dryer. But the problem is even a hair dryer, most hair dryers take me about 30 minutes at least for my hair to be completely dry. So one of the things that I really liked about this hair dryer is the claim that it dries your hair about half the time faster than most conventional hair dryers. Well, I put that to the test and I will insert a clip and it only took me 16 minutes to dry my hair. So when you go on their website, it says it dries your hair in five minutes and it shows a picture of a male with shorter hair. If you have shorter and less hair and density, it will probably take less time than me. But if you have really long and or thick hair, I definitely recommend this for reducing the time. Now I did take some notes, so I wanna go over some key points of the hair dryer. I keep saying hair dryer and blow dryer interchangeably. Curious, what do you use? It has a very low decibel sound of 59, and that's when you have it on the highest power. So most traditional hair dryers have a decibel of 90. And I have a decibel scale listed so you can compare to common noises. So like a soft whisper is about 30. The average noise in your home is about 40 decibels. Air conditioning is about 60. So the blow dryer is very comparable to having air conditioning on. Also the toilet flushing is about 80, a motorcycle 100. If you're at a loud concert, you know, about 130, maybe 140, depending on the music. I think of the loudest noise, I think of like fireworks, explosions, and they're usually over 160. And so for those who live in apartments, or maybe you live in a dorm, or you have roommates, whatever the case is, it's nice and quiet. Another thing that is really cool about it is the temperatures are not too hot. So the cool air is about room temperature, which is about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. The warm air or the medium option is 120 degrees Fahrenheit. And the hot air is 176 degrees Fahrenheit. So it doesn't get any hotter than that. The hair dryer contains 200 million negative ions, which seal the cuticle to cut down on frizz and flyaways for overall smoother hair. Okay, so I will be transparent as far as price. This is not cheap. It retails anywhere from $140 to $200. However, you get what you pay for. It's not as expensive as the Dyson, and this is even considered a Dyson dupe that is very, very comparable. For those of you who have watched some of my prior videos might remember me talking about this Dyson dupe I bought off of Amazon. It's like a no brand. I don't even remember the brand, but this was like $35, and this would take at least 30 minutes for my hair to be completely dry, and then my hair would get caught in these little things, and it's a little bit heavier, bulkier, it doesn't have all the options, so, all together, you really get what you pay for. Like I still don't want to pay $500 for a hair dryer and yes, this is sponsored. I didn't buy it with my own money. Another disclaimer. But yeah, if you were to ask me between these two, definitely the Lafayette. And even if I wasn't sponsored, you guys, this works so much better and it dries my hair quicker and I just like to have more time. Time is so valuable. My All right, so now I will show you how to use the Lafayette and Swift blow dryer. I figure a tutorial will be best so you can see how it is used in action. So it comes with two different attachments. This attachment here is recommended for straight hair. So this is the one that I have been using. 
And this is recommended for high speed. I haven't tried this one yet. And there's also an option for a diffuser attachment. I don't have it, but this is recommended if you have thick and curly hair. I love how it attaches so easy. It's magnetic, boom, it's done. Okay, so there's a couple different options on how to use it, but it's very simple. So this button right here, this turns it from low speed to high speed, and this controls the temperature. And I love how quiet it is, so I'm going to show you. So this is low, and then the yellow signifies that it's medium temperature. The red is high temperature. And then the blue is cool air, so you don't have to hold it to get the cool air. But before I use the hair dryer, I like to use a teeny bit of oil on my ends as a heat protectant. Now, I haven't found literature to support this. However, I do know that certain oils do well in high temperature. So you think of cooking, for example. Avocado oil is one that does really well in high temperature. Grapeseed oil, uh, coconut oil, and this, I'm using the keratin oil, and this has argon, jojoba, apricot, vitamin E, avocado oil, which I note as well in high heat, sweet almond, pumpkin seed, hemp seed, grapeseed oil. So grapeseed oil is perfect for high heat. There is research that supports that oil can protect against SPF. However, SPF is different than a more artificial heat from technology devices such as a blow dryer. So let me get back with more research. However, this is what I choose to protect my hair. A lot of store-bought heat protectants contain silicones, and I'm not against silicones. I just don't like how they make my hair feel. So I choose to use oils. So I'm just gonna comb through. And my hair is about maybe 60% dry. I like to let my hair air dry as much as possible. And then to change the setting to the oscillating temperatures, all you do is you just hold this down for a couple seconds, release, and then it will start to change. Just being dramatic right now. So I have it on the option where it's just going to keep changing temperature. So it's going to go from cool to warm to hot. And you want to blow dry down from what I always hear. It feels so good. It, I like how it's constantly changing temperatures too. Another thing I like about it is how lightweight it is. And it's nice how quiet it is, especially if you live in an apartment and you like to wash and blow dry your hair really late at night like me. Now, again, I've only been using it on the low power. I'm just going to put it on the high power so you can see how loud it gets. So this is the loudest it gets. Other times I really like to use the medium heat option. I feel like cool sometimes can make me a little too cold and medium doesn't really burn my hair. I mean it might do minimal damage but when you put it on your hand it doesn't feel like it's really hot. And also having the attachment on is helpful and holding it away from your hair is also helpful. There's a lot of debate in the long hair community and just the hair community in general that air drying is healthier for your hair than blow drying. And I did find a scientific article that breaks it down why the hair dryer can actually be more beneficial. And so I got my phone and my glasses so I can see and I'm just going to summarize the abstract for you. So the study looked at five different groups and there was a placebo group where they didn't even use a blow dryer and, and then different groups that used a blow dryer at different distances away from their head and also different temperatures. So that's what it's going to look at. 
So in conclusion, although using a hair dryer causes more surface damage than natural drying, using a hair dryer at a distance of 15 centimeters with a continuous motion causes less damage than drying hair naturally. And so that is just so cool. So I'll link the study below if you are interested in reading the full thing. And I always love when I can find data to support things. Data is just so beautiful. And so be sure to check out the Lafayan Tech website. I have it listed below as well as my discount code. This could make a really excellent gift for anybody you know into hair care or maybe a gift to yourself, right? Self-love, self-care. And these are also so lightweight and skinny that they're perfect for traveling because let's face it, most hotels do not have the best blow dryers. Thank you so much to Lafayette Tech for sponsoring today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and let me know down below what your favorite blow dryer is or maybe you've tried this one out. I would love to hear your thoughts. And I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Farewell!